Greetings, everyone. Well, it's package opening time again. <laughs> Got this massive box of stuff from Morgan. Yeah, you guys know Morgan. He sent packages before. Uh, he's a frequent contributor over on our Discord and uh, just all around cool guy. Comes to the Twitch streams pretty frequently. So, uh, yeah, he sent me this massive package of stuff that uh, he thought I might like, and I have no idea what's in it. I think I know what one of the items is, but uh, there's clearly more than one thing in here, so let's get right to it. Massive package from Morgan, today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Alrighty, let's uh, let's see what we got here. So, the whole thing appears to be packaged with uh, electrician's tape. I can't really show you too much because the address will be visible there. But let's see if we can uh, see what the box cutter can do with it here. So always cut towards yourself to make it as exciting as possible. Um, safety first, you know, all that. Okay, there we go. I think we got. Got some uh, give here. There we go. Good. Okay. And what do we got here? Through. Not sure where the, uh, the break is there. All right. So I have to set this down here because the uh, address is fairly visible on the top. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Holy guacamole! So much stuff. Just a random box of stuff. Holy moly. Okay, wow. All right. Well, first off, first off, this is an upgrade that I have wanted for a very long time. Hold on. Let's see if we can uh, actually put this on here. Just hold on. Hold on a sec. Let's make sure. We oh, this is so much better than the one that I've got. Holy crap. Check it out. Yeah, 3D coming at you. We got like this super deluxe Freddy glove. Holy crap, this is beautiful. And it's like actual like faux leather on the glove too. Like, oh man, this is this is fantastic. <laughs> this really why didn't I have this when I did my uh, Nightmare on Elm Street reviews? This is amazing. All right, we're going to leave this on while we do uh the rest of this well, as much as we can anyway. So, okay, so we got a note here. We'll set this aside. And uh, let's see what we got here. So we have, this looks like, oh, it's a, it's a Pokemon character. It's the, uh, I don't know Pokemon characters. It's it's the cat dude from Team Rocket. The, the little jerky cat that always hangs out with Team Rocket. Yeah, so it's that, that guy. <laughs> and uh, what else we got here? And we have... I don't know. Oh, this one I think I know. This one I think I know. Yeah. We got, uh, we got, looks like an Eevee. The little bunny thing. Yeah, I'm going to leave these in the package. I'm guessing these are for Rose, because Rose is a big uh, Pokemon fan. So I'll make sure that uh, she gets those. Oh my goodness. Check it out. We have a fully posable Morty. <laughs> there you go. So we got, we got Morty. I'm just going to set the little, the, there's a bunch of toys and action figures in here. I'm just going to set those aside, and then I'll put uh, the other stuff up, up up here, like the movies and whatnot. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have a bag of... Oh, cool, a bag a bag of Batman. <laughs> there's, there's Batman stuff in here. Looks like a little... Uh, some kind of Lego set. What do we got? A couple of statues. Got two female statues. And Batman... And, and it looks like Loki. So kind, kind of a mix and match of uh, superheroes. So Loki with, with no legs, but he has a suction cup where his legs would normally go. So you can just stick Loki wherever you want. All right, awesome. So we'll have some fun with that. And here we got... Uh, oh, this is cool. Oh, neat. Does it, does it work? Nope, needs batteries. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's a, it's like a light up. Uh, I don't know why you can see this here, but it's like a light up Mario. I thought 
thought was something other than his foot there for a second. But uh, <laughs> that's, that's not uh, uh, that's that's his foot. I don't know what 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 <laughs> what you think it is, but uh, yeah. Anyway, there's an on-off switch, so you can turn Mario on with the switch here. <laughs> and I <laughs> okay. Let's just. Uh, Set that aside. And uh, by the batteries appear to be dead. Oh, and here we have, um, we got Snowball. We got Snowball from Rick and Morty. There you go. Very nice. Mecha, Mecha Snowball. These are actually pretty nice uh, figures. Yeah. No, this is, this is awesome. I got to start, like, doing some kind of display or something. Trying to do all this with one hand because I don't want to take the glove off. But, um, yeah, so that's that's really good. Um, definitely love me some Rick and Morty stuff. Oh, nice! The classic sh from, show, uh, from Scream Factory. Garbage Day! Yes, we have Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, the Collector's Edition. Oh, man, this is great. And then, uh, yeah, and then with the uh, reversible cover. I see he already reversed it. He knows me. He knows. He knows. That's awesome. I've actually never seen any of the Silent Night, Deadly Nights, but um, I know this is the notorious one for the gar the, the garbage day uh, scene where he just goes on a rampage through the neighborhood in broad daylight. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been wanting to check these out for ages because uh, I do love some uh, some cheesy horror. Oh, and here we go. This is <laughs> this is the one he told me about today because um, well, I'll tell you in a sec. We have the 4K edition of Ant-Man and the Wasp with this snazzy lenticular cover. Look at that. That is nice. Lenticular slipcover. So just the other day, I actually went to uh, the Cinematic University. So it's got the 4K Ultra HD, the Blu-ray, and the digital code. So the, just the other day, because I hadn't uh, picked it up yet, I grabbed Ant-Man and the Wasp on regular Plain Jane Blu-ray. But nice bumpy slipcover. There you go. And, uh, yeah, so I, so I kind of wish I'd opened the package earlier because um, I would have bought something else. Oh, well, that's okay. This is an upgrade, actually, and it looks looks pretty nice. We don't get the 3D editions here anymore, sadly. but uh, And, in fact, I think they're discontinuing them in the U.K. now, too. It just seems to be, you know, 3D is pretty much done now. There's a handful of movies still get 3D releases, but, um, but these ones uh, do not. Okay, let's see what else. We got a few more action figures here. What do we got here? We have oh, we have a mystery figure of Aquaman. No, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to take this off because I, I really need to have both hands uh, free here. Now, of course, my fingers are all stuck and sweaty in here, so just hold on a sec. This is gonna take a, a moment to get off the hand here. Be careful, of course, because we don't want to wreck it. This is this is like easily the nicest Freddy glove I've ever had. Thank you so much, dude. This is awesome. Um, so let's see here. All right, oh, I have a I have my other hand back. Okay, so here's all the ones that it could be. Very cool. I actually just picked up the movie uh, the other day. I have not watched it yet, um, but I plan to soon. Cool. So we have. Um, her, <laughs> uh, kind of like Black Widow of the Sea. There you go. Because I haven't seen the movie, I don't know who any of these characters are yet, so I'm just going to give them names. Um, very cool. Very nice. So we got Black Widow of the Sea. And who else we got? We got another one here. So here we have... Be a mystery... Mystery, who's... Oh, there we go. We got the man himself. Got Arthur Curry, Aquaman himself. Look at that. All the... These are really nice, actually. It's kind of like pop vinyls, but uh, but different. They're mini... What, what is this line actually called? Oh, this is a Funko line, actually. It's the Funko Mystery Minis. Okay. So they're actually quite nice. Like, look at the, the, the detail on them. Is, is actually quite good. I'm impressed. So basically, we got uh, 
So we got Aquaman and his girlfriend there. Awesome. The seas shall be safe. Excellent. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I'll keep them on hand when I watch the movie, just so they can uh, watch over me. And let's see who we got here. Oh, <laughs> nice. More Rick and Morty stuff. We have, um, uh, was it Bird Person? <laughs> there you go. With, uh, with retractable wings. That's very cool. That's nice, and it's actually rubbery uh, texture here, so it's got some uh, some texture to it. And and these are all like fully articulated too. Like this is actually some pretty quality action figure, like ball joint on the the shoulder there, and uh, you can turn you can turn his head, you can do little stop motion animations with them. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. It looks like we've got another one. Oh yes, yes. Hey, look at me! It's Mr. Meeseeks! There you go. Existence is pain. <laughs> These are great figures, actually, I gotta say. These are awesome. That is so cool. I'm almost inclined to, like, set them all up with my Rick and Morty Blu-rays back there somewhere. And here, of course, we have... Oh, his foot fell off. Hold on. Let's uh, pop that back on there. There we go. And then, of course, we have the man himself. We got our Morty. I'll just get my hand off of his crotch. There we go. And, of course, we have Rick. So there you go. So we got both Rick and Morty. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, I, I love Rick and Morty um, very much, as you guys know. Uh, I got all the Blu-ray sets. Um, I'm, I'm a little behind in the comics just because money's been tight. Um, I'm, I, need, I think there's been a couple more volumes since I last uh, picked any up. So I'll, I'll get up to date one of these days. Let's see what else do we got. Oh, we got another one. This was actually uh, carded. We have Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Hold on a second. I get it. So the um, snowball in the mech suit was actually a build. So that means that Morgan actually collected all of these and built... Uh, and, and built a snowball for me. Like, that is so cool, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, there you go. That's awesome. So, basically, you collect all, all five, I guess. And then you get, uh, you get all the parts to build the snowball. Build snowball in the mech suit. And, uh, and that's it. We, we actually do have all five. So, we have Mr. Poopy Butthole, Bird Person, um... Mr. Meeseeks, Rick, and Morty. That's that's freaking awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Let's see here. So we got something... Okay. Rip off formers for... Sean. Oh, rip off formers. Okay, I think I got... I think I know what this is going to be. Rip off formers for Sean. Okay, hold on. Let's let's take a look here. <laughs> it's going to be something like a knockoff transformer of some kind. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Made from the highest quality toxic plastic. Look at this. We have police car robot. Now, let's see if we can figure out how this... Oh, okay, hold on. We got... Okay, we got feet coming out here. And, uh... And, okay, and arms... And we flip that down, and uh, there we go. We we now officially have a robot. Look at look at that. It's like just like magic before your eyes. It transformed from a police car, the perfect disguise, into this derpy robot. Um, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. That's actually uh, you know as far as being a knockoff, that's not a bad one. Like, I've, I have seen worse. Like, uh, you should see some of the stuff that shows up in the dollar store. But, uh, but yeah, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Thank you very much. All right, let's see what we got here. So we have a hint. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. We got, uh, we got a bunch of Batman the Animated... Is this Batman the Animated Series? Yeah, it's Batman the Animated Series uh, sticker sheet. Very nice. Very cool. And hint. Oh, okay. 
So there is <laughs> a very subtle hint. So the hint is a picture of Ghost Rider and of Nicolas Cage. Hmm, I wonder what this could be. Uh, well, that's... <laughs> that's great. That's good. I love, I love uh, the fun that Morgan is having with this here. This is awesome. So let's see here. Well, it can only be one of the two. So I've seen one of them. I haven't seen the second one. Oh, and here we go. This is... The second one. There we go. We got Ghost Rider Spirits of Vengeance. Nice. I, I still need to... I actually need to reacquire the first one. Um, I know a lot of people shit on these, but uh, but I actually thought they were okay. Like, I mean, I, well, the first one anyway. And I heard the... You know, some of my friends that the second one was even better. So, I don't know. I'm, it's Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider. How can you go wrong? You know, come on. Let's see what else we got here. We have... Oh, cool. I have not seen this. We have Alexander Skarsgård, Samuel L. Jackson, Margot Robbie, Dijmon Hunsu, and Christoph Waltz in The Legend of Tarzan. There you go. Very nice. Well, as you know, I love the uh, the classic heroes. Uh, Tarzan being one of them, of course, right up there with the Lone Ranger, Zorro, and Flash Gordon. And um, I have not seen this one, so thank you very much. I will definitely enjoy checking that out. Okay, what else do we got here? We got some more. We got one more movie from Looks. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I uh, I definitely have not seen this one. I've heard it's fantastic. Um, so I look forward to checking out. We have The Shape of Water with with the super shiny slipcover. Check that out. It's very nice. Yeah, very cool. I've heard like this is very much like a kind of a modern take on uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon, but with with a twist well a couple of twists what a twist and um yeah so it, it's supposed to be fantastic uh definitely looking forward to checking this out thank you very much all right let's see what we got here so we got looks like some magazines and some comics so we have oh i see some movie movie theater magazines we got famous magazine from april 2010 oh cool we got red hot iron man 2 scarlett johansson there you go, which is pretty cool. That was actually the introduction of Black Widow, um, which uh, I I kind of forgot until uh, Rosie and I have been rewatching the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies in order, like in release date order from the beginning, and um, I had forgotten that she was introduced in Iron Man too. So we're gonna put these over here, I think. And we're just gonna kind of stack up the magazines as we go. So next up we have, oh, this is, actually, I, I see a theme here. This is pretty cool. From uh, July 2017, we have Cineplex Magazine with an article about Tom Holland talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. Very cool. I used to actually pick up these magazines all the freaking time. Um, anytime I would go to the movies, I would pick up, you know, usually a couple I would pick up one to keep in complete form, and I would pick up a second one to cut up, like to to like I would kind of scrapbook the articles that I, I liked. So I have like a, a photo album uh, somewhere that uh, that has a whole bunch of articles and movie posters and stuff that I cut out of these movie magazines over the years, and then also somewhere in a box is like a complete version of that issue. Usually, I didn't always remember to grab a second one, but uh, but that was usually the plan. So here we have from May 2018, Alden Ehrenreich talks solo, a Star Wars story. Very nice. I still have to see that, actually. Can you believe it? Like, I've just been dragging my ass watching a new Star Wars movie. Like, that never happens. Oh, this is cool. Holy moly. From March of 2009, we have a special edition of Tribute Magazine... All about the Watchmen movie. That is really cool. Yeah, because you guys know I, I actually really like this movie a lot. Uh, I did a couple of videos about it a while ago. And let's see here. And we got another Cineplex magazine. This one is from April 2014. All uh, big feature on Chris Evans coming back for the... Uh, what is it? For, uh, <laughs> for Captain America 2. So I'm guessing they're talking about Winter Soldier. Very cool. 
And here we have, ah, from June of 2015, Man vs. Dino. Chris Pratt talks Jurassic World. I actually still have to see Jurassic World. I have it. haven't watched it yet. Um, don't have the second one yet, actually. Oh, and here we go. Easily the best comic book movie ever made. We have from June of 2011, Ryan Reynolds talking about Green Lantern. There you go. <laughs> I did well. Yeah, Green Lantern is kind of a mixed bag. Loved the stuff with the Green Lantern Corps, and I actually thought Ryan Reynolds was pretty well cast as you know Hal Jordan because Hal Jordan's a bit of a smart ass, and Ryan Ryan Reynolds plays smart ass characters as well. But uh, yeah, it definitely had some issues. Definitely had some issues. Um, he's a freaking revelation as Deadpool, though. Huh. I can't imagine anybody else doing Deadpool as perfectly as he does. Uh, and here we're from July 2018. We have uh, Paul Rudd talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Coincidentally. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And, oh, here we go with uh, June, 19, uh, June, yeah, June 2018. Uh, Brad Bird talking about The Incredibles 2 which I have not seen. I have seen the first one. The first one was great. Really enjoyed it a lot. And then, well, I've got such a stack of movie magazines here. Holy moly. We got to, oh, nice. This is one I'm definitely going to treasure. From October 2017, Dream Roll. We have Ryan Gosling talking about Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, I see you put that one near the bottom there. You knew that's that was going to be a special one for me, didn't you? All right, and then here uh, we have... From, uh, we have Cineplex Magazine, another copy of Cineplex Magazine, uh, with, uh, Alden Ehrenreich talking about Solo. I think this is the same one we got before, isn't it? Is it, uh, yes, yes it is. So we have two of the same, so see, if this was years ago and I used to grab these, I could cut up one of them for my scrapbook and then keep the other one intact, but I don't do those scrapbooks anymore, I just kind of... If I see something, I'll scan it and then put it in, in a file folder somewhere. All right, and then it looks like we have some uh, some comics, I think. We got... Uh, oh, this is this is actually perfect because uh, uh, Rose and I, Rosie and I just watched Iron Man 3 the other day. And I was thinking, like, wow, I'd really like to read the story that that was based on. Well, here it is. We have Iron Man Extremis, or Extremis, however you want to pronounce it. So, very cool. I'm definitely going to enjoy checking this out. I've heard that the uh, storyline was kind of butchered in the movie. So I'm actually pretty uh, interested to read how the original story uh, plays out. Man, the artwork in this is beautiful. Holy crap, look at this. Look at this artwork. It's all, like, painted and stuff. This is gorgeous. I think they did a they did a motion comic of this too, actually. And uh, yeah, look at this. This is just this is beautiful, man. Yeah, no, I'm gonna enjoy reading this. Written by Warren Ellis too. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. Gonna enjoy checking that out. Oh, sweet! It's funny. Rosie and I were just talking about this show today. And I was telling her about some of the differences between the uh, American version and the original Japanese version. We have Voltron, Raid of the Alien Mice storybook. This is awesome. So, one of four storybooks that they did, apparently. But this is pretty cool. They, um... The, uh, let me see if we get a slightly bigger picture. Yeah, here we have, uh, it, it's all, it's like a storybook, but all with photos from the actual episode, which is kind of cool. And they're all like pretty fuzzy, low-res photos, obviously not taken from film prints. Like, you can actually see the scan lines in the picture. Like, what do they do, just take a picture of the TV? <laughs> like, I guess, uh... I guess this is before the days of, you know, well, this is obviously like 1984, this would have come out. Uh, this is obviously before the days of, uh, you know, digital scanning and whatnot. So, oh, here we go. A couple more movie magazines to round it out. We have an issue of Famous Magazine from April 2009. All about Wolverine. There you go. Very nice. Very nice indeed here. I'm going to... We'll put Iron Man over here. 
And last, but most certainly not least, oh, wait, wait, there's a couple little bits and pieces in there. Hold on. Last, but most certainly not least, from uh, March to April 2018, was it bi-monthly now, I guess? We have a Hero Reborn, Alicia Vikander talks Tomb Raider. There you go. I heard that new movie is really good. Although I think we all have a soft spot for the old Angelina Jolie ones, right? So let's see, what do we got here? We have two things. We have a golf club. I'm thinking that goes with Mr. Meeseeks. So I remember Mr. Meeseeks was trying to help Jerry improve his golf swing. And then we have a little uh, a little laser gun here. Who's the laser gun go with? Maybe, uh, I guess it could really go with anybody. They all have slots for it. Maybe we'll give it to Birdman, because I can't really see Rick using just a regular laser gun. He would always have the portal gun. And I'm just going to make sure there's nothing else hiding under the flaps here. Nope, we're good. Oh, wow. Well, that was that was exhausting. That was so much stuff. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Morgan. That that was that was an awesome package. Definitely gonna enjoy going through these uh, movie mags. These are I love these, and I haven't uh, picked them up in ages. So all of this stuff is new to me, basically. Um, definitely gonna enjoy reading Extreme Extremis. Uh, I've been been wanting to check that out for a while. Thank you so much for the Voltron storybook. Love it. Um, I have a lot of storybooks like this from various franchises that I love. I got like a Transformers one. Um, I've got a couple of Inhumanoids ones. I got a Gal an Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers one. It's cool. Like as I've always said, like um, as far as merchandising goes, with uh, the various franchises that I like, it's the ones that are kind of more media oriented that have always been of of greatest interest to me. So ones like this, which either are an adaptation of an episode or tell a new story or something like that. And of course, thank you for. All of the movies and the beautiful upgrade for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Very nice indeed. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Probably I'm probably going to sell this one and then uh, keep that one as as the uh, the keeper. Alrighty, and of course thanks for all the toys and once again the totally awesome Freddy glove. That is freaking amazing, dude. Oh, alrighty. Well, that is it for this package opening. So big thanks to Morgan for all the goodies. Big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Um, I stream on Twitch just about every day, so feel free to stop by and say hey if you feel so inclined. And uh, we'll see you next time. So until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara. Ugh! Everything away. <sighs> oh crap, the note. Right, there's a note. Ah, uh, okay. Quite a, a lengthy note here. So, alright, here we go. Hello, Z. Hope you enjoy the package I sent you. Enjoy. Uh, horror fantasy. Shape of Water. Need I say more? Del Toro's love letter to the creature from the Black Lagoon. Hopefully you haven't bought this movie yet, but it's a fantastic movie. Don't listen to the memes and jokes about it. In my opinion, one of Del Toro's best. Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. For whatever reason, I forgot I pre-ordered this one and wound up getting two copies. So enjoy. Honestly, I'd imagine you would know the cult status on this movie with the famous Garbage Day line. Honestly, there's no need to rush out to see the first one. Literally, the first few minutes of this movie recaps everything that happened in that one and tells its own story. It's a fun, cheesy, good time on the so-bad-it's-good level. Oh, awesome. Well, maybe I'll just jump right into watching that one then. Now on to the Marvel movies, sort of superhero-related stuff. Ghost Rider, Spirits of Vengeance. I know in the past you mentioned you haven't seen it yet, so here it is to save you the trouble of buying it. I only paid th <laughs> only paid $3, lol. Honestly, it's not as bad as many people have made it out to be. It's zany, goofy, over-the-top action cheesiness you would expect from Nick Cage and the guys who made the Crank movies. It's pretty much its own movie that ignores the events of the first one. Enjoy the ride. Hopefully you enjoy it. Again, despite my enjoyment of the Cage movies, I'm glad Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is doing the character lore with a little more respect and justice. 
Hopefully Disney will eventually do a proper MCU Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider series on their Disney Plus service. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Again, another one I don't think you own yet. Well, I didn't at the time you sent the package, and then... Yeah. <laughs> no need to go into it further. It's another chapter in the ever-growing MCU franchise, and it's a fun sequel to the first Ant-Man movie. P.S. The mid credit sequence will literally blow your mind. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I, I'd imagine you will know once you see the movie. All right, I will check that out. Legend of Tarzan, another one that gets criticized, but I honestly enjoy. I'm not really a big Tarzan fan, but Margot Robbie is great as Jane, and Alexander Skarsgård as tar Tarzan were great. Questionable CGI at times that almost looks like it would be in a sci-fi channel movie of the week, but close to a fun live-action Tarzan movie, uh, but as close to a fun live-action Tarzan movie as we're, like, as we're likely going to get. Funkos. I figured you might dig some of the Funkos licenses that are not just pop vinyls. Just Rick and Morty figures and a few Aquaman vinyl figures from the new movie. No need to say more. I already have them, and they're great on display. Especially the Rick and Morty line they have been doing. The latest line finally has a Scary Terry in articulated form. Well, that's pretty sweet. Also, speaking of Scary Terry, not really Funko, but figured you need a proper, somewhat movie-accurate Freddy glove for your set. Yes. Yes, the ones I have are either hella cheap or falling apart. <laughs> Reading stuff. Movie mags. No need to talk about the movie magazines. Figured you enjoyed the last bunch, so here's some more you might like as well. A few Marvel, DC, and Star Wars related to hold your interest. Iron Man Extremis. I do not know if you're familiar with this storyline in Iron Man's comic history, but it's fantastic. Easily one of the best Iron Man storylines out there. This storyline and Warren Ellis' run on Iron Man helped inspire the Iron Man movies and Tony Stark character as a whole in the MCU franchise. It's an easy read accompanied by some fantastic artwork. Can't recommend it highly enough. Iron Man 3 also borrowed heavily from this storyline, but in my opinion did not do it justice. Or did it do no justice. There are more stakes in this comic than the two and a half hours that movie had. Yeah, that's often the case I find like with the, with the Marvel movies is they'll kind of just take the, the essence of a popular storyline and distill it down to a two and a half hour movie. Because I, mean, like, I mean, look what they did with Civil War. I mean, they crammed... Civil War was a huge, like, year-and-a-half-long crossover event that have touched every corner of the Marvel Universe. Um, and Planet Hulk was spun off of that as well. And, um... Which led into World War Hulk, and it just, it just went on and on and on. But, uh... They basically just crammed it down to a two-and-a-half-hour movie that basically just kind of covered the, the gist of the idea. And then Planet Hulk was later incorporated into Thor Ragnarok. But, um... Let's see, yeah, so uh, Voltron book. Again, it's a children's book, but I figure it's a cool collector's edition for your Voltron collection. Absolutely, you know, I love stuff like that. And some random Pokemon, Mario, fast food novelties for Rosie, and DCEU Trinity toys, and, and FNAF toy Freddy construction set is for her as well. Oh, that's what that is, the baggie of toys. Okay, if you want, you can have the Mario toy. Not going to lie, but it's a cool light show display. Again, these are the, there are the breakdown of the items in the package. Hope you enjoy. Absolutely. Thanks again, Mark, Mark, Morgan, <laughs> and uh, take care. And thanks again to all of you for sticking around and watching this part, too. All right, see you next time. Sayonara.